the impact of machine learning system, that is ChatGPT. When you guys hear me talk about machine learning systems, I'm talking about ChatGPT, Google Bard, and all those uh, other uh, uh, um, text-based AI tools that are coming up, okay? Bing has also come up with its own. But the two principal ones right now is Google Bard and ChatGPT, okay? Can you discuss the impact of ChatGPT on the creation of best-selling books? And now authors can leverage these technologies. Because this is a discussion, unlike your typical interview, me and you are just going to be going back and forth talking about the, about the issues. So talk to me about that. Yeah, um, so creation of best-selling books. Yeah. yeah. Um, in our community, we've already had nine bestsellers um, go out uh, and create books. And these are people that didn't go to school to be authors. Right. Mm. Um, this levels the playing field and gives people like me and you um, or anybody watching this the ability to go from spectator to or author through and through. Um, all it takes is you putting one drop, one liter, one gallon of your thoughts into Chad GPT. Uh, I'm going to say Chad GPT and not Bard specifically. Bard is more for updated information. Like you said, if you wanted to uh, um, source data, right, and kind of throw that into Chad GPT just to give it some updated information and things like that, that's cool. Um, but what machine learning does is that it allows you to accelerate your overall expertise and use the combined knowledge of every author in history in that specific field to supplement and supercharge all of the things you want to do, right? Um, think about how much money it would cost for you to take every best-selling author in a specific uh, genre to come in and support you. Hmm. How much would that cost? It'd be crazy. Hmm. We have a, an insane amount of money that would take, and you would need almost an infinite amount of resources to get that done. You can do that in one place. Point hmm. blank. You no longer need a ghost writer if you have your AI, actual intelligence, and the AI, artificial intelligence, working hand in hand. So um, they can leverage these technologies by understanding that it won't do all of the work because it seems to be prompted, right? So um, I know there's been a lot of... Um, how do you say uh, 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 ethical discussions about is it ethical for authors to be using chat uh, 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 GPT? I think it's unethical for us as intellectuals not to use every tool at our disposal to help as many people as possible. I think that's unethical, especially if the tool is available and especially if that tool is free for now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You actually are coming at it from the other perspective. It's actually unethical for you not to use a tool that is available to help you uh, uh, improve your game. And I, I happen to agree with you that uh, uh, contrary to what is being sold out there, the, the AI is really not writing the book. You are still the master. You are telling it what to write. It's like having a supercharged assistant who can do research or a, a, a for you at the speed of light and you're saying i'm not going to use it because it's writing too fast so for me uh, 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 in fact just like somebody just i put that question in there let me just put that up that's related to this it says ai not coming to reduce human employment uh, but we're going to come back to your question prof uh, bishop we're going to come back to your question it's a very important question and then we're going to deal with that but for now i we are talking about uh, whether uh, 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 our authors can use this. Imagine you are an author out there. You try to write a book. Typically, you might decide you want to go on a retreat. If you're a very serious author, you spend weeks in retreat trying to get uh, inspiration from the from the bard. And I think that's probably why they call it this Google bard. Now I'm thinking. Maybe that's why they call it the bard. 
because you are supposed to get inspiration from the bad, all those uh, uh, literature writers of old, William Shakespeare, they say they got inspiration from the bad, you know, something in the air that is uh, uh, inspiring them. But imagine you have to go for a month to go write. You come back, it's going to take another maybe three months to get it edited. Or if you are like me, it might take you a year to write the book because you are writing one chapter at a time and it's intensive and all of that. Compared to where you sit down in front of a computer, you have what you want to write in your head. And you just say, Chad GPT, I want to write a book on Nigeria like I just did. I want to write a book on 1960 to 1960, 1966. I want to call that Shattered Dreams because that's what happened in my country. Mm -hmm. Can you go and research and tell me what the atmosphere was when independence was given in 1960? What? And then in five seconds, it gives it to you. I was flabbergasted. Exactly what I told him. So, okay. And then I talked about the first constitutional conference. What happened there? Who said what? And how did this thing not work later? Boom. In 15 seconds, he brought it all out. Now I have to read it and then make corrections and all that stuff. It's not a perfect tool yet. But imagine you want to write a chapter on a summary of the festivity on Independence Day 1960. And you just type that. And in five seconds, you have a four-page chapter. All done. Try to put that in your head as a book author. Okay? Now you have the raw material. I call it whatever it gives me, the raw material. Now all I now need to do is read it, make whatever changes I want. And if I don't like what I got, I just use what I call the, the Estrella strategy. Okay? <laughs> I use the Estrella touch. Say, come on now, don't tell me about that. Hey, this is what I want. And then it gives me. You are done. I, one of the volumes of the book, the one about the, the, uh, uh, the pastor, sorry, the one on the attorney, Mr. GPT. I wrote that book while I was in uh, 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 Peace, no, not Pittsburgh, uh, Philadelphia or something. One of my uh, uh, um, close family friends was getting married. And me and my wife, we traveled. It was at the reception. We were at the reception. It was a three-hour reception. I went in there with my phone. By the time I was working out, that 250-page book was ready. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. And I didn't even use one-click technology because I said that one would not be able to express my thoughts. I started with chapter by chapter. And it broke it down. Answered 100 questions in under three hours in a book format, all edited, no grammatical error. I don't need to go to no editor, which I used to pay. I used to, I have 47 books on, on Zoom, sorry, on uh, Amazon before chat GPT, 47. Each of them probably cost me maybe 500 to $1,000 to get ready. After I write the book, I have to pay the editor. Mm -hmm. and I have to pay somebody to rearrange it. Then I pay a little money to my designer. I've got a great designer who does the best designs in the world. His name is Mathieu. It would design the thing and charge me at the end of the month. And then I have to get the book out there. But now it cost me zero and very little time. Guys, if you are in that same, in fact, I have a course that is called, I call it commercial book authoring business. I'm actually writing a complete course. Maybe when uh, uh, the dawn gives us the one prompt, one prompt course writing thing right now. What? Well, one from course writing strategy today today. That course may be out tomorrow. I want to do a course on how you can actually have a whole income stream, be your full time job, writing books that the world needs and commercializing it. Because for me, it's the lowest hanging fruit for those of you out there, okay, who are looking for what business to do. In other words, because writing the books will no longer be your problem. Even marketing it is not no longer gonna be your problem. You got an assistant. Mm -hmm. Who knows everything? Okay, you are going to say, okay, how can I sell this book? Tell me the 12 ways I can sell it. It gives it to you. It's okay, that number one, I want you to expand. Give me step by step. Assuming I have 50 bucks in my pocket. How do I execute this? It gives it to you. Mm -hmm. Your only job is to go execute. That's it. Man, all right. Now, I, I, 